Yo guys, welcome back to Fusion Hills, and today there's another video for you guys. I'm now officially going to be doing my WWE NXT TakeOver Vengeance Day predictions here today. But before I start this video, please smash the subscribe button and drop a like on this video. Anyway, let's get right into predicting all of these matches. So the first one that I am now officially going to be predicting is for the WWE NXT North American Championship. It is going to be Johnny Gargano versus Kushida. And yeah, Johnny Gargano is the champion. Will he be able to do it? Obviously, it's been very interesting uh, and quite funny and interesting few different ones. We obviously Johnny Gargano but pretending to be injured to get out of this fight. But look... It's going to be a good fight no matter what, in my opinion. And Kashida definitely um, deserves a championship at the point. But I don't think he's going to get it here, though. I reckon Johnny Gargano is going to, is going to retain. But look, the thing is, though, you never know with Johnny Gargano and his matches because, you know, his title reigns don't exactly last a very, 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 very long time, though, do they? But I reckon he's going to retain here against Kashida. But we're going to see a bloody fantastic match here. Um... On WWE NXT Take a Vengeance State. That's my opinion. So, yes, Johnny Argano is to get the win in that one. So, yes, anyway, the second one I'm going to be predicting is for, um, well, it is now the women's um, Dusty Rose Tag Team Classic Tournament Final. It is going to be Dakota Kai and uh, Ricardo Gonzalez versus. Um, Sochi Blackheart and Ember Moon. This is going to be a fantastic match, in my opinion. And I hope that I... And I reckon we will be entertained by it. I mean, I hope we are, and I really do think we will be. It's going to be fantastic, in my opinion. But my prediction for it is it's going to be a brilliant fight, obviously. Now, that's my opinion. It's going to be very fantastic. I don't think exactly any match is going to disappoint on this card, though. But... If I did have, but yeah, if I, yeah, I don't think any match would disappoint on this card. But if I did have to predict a team to win, I am going to go with Dakota Kai and Ricardo and Gonzalez. And my, uh, and, and my reasoning for that is simply because these two have been teaming for quite some time now. They, they definitely need something to just, just increase and just show, uh, and just, just literally show why, why they are a team kind of. That, that's what they need to do. So, yes, I don't, I, I think they, uh, Dakota Khan, Ricardo uh, Gonzalez, I think they definitely need um, to win this more than uh, Sochi Blackheart and Ember Moon. Because, you know, overall, Sochi Blackheart and Ember Moon, fantastic. As senior com competitors, the same as Dakota Khan, Ricardo Gonzalez, but I feel like Dakota Khan and Ricardo Gonzalez definitely need him more, in my opinion. So, yeah, that's my uh, predictions for that. So, yes, um... Anyway, uh, the third match, which I'm now officially going to be like predicting, is going to be for the Dusty, it's the Men's Dusty Rose Tag Team Classic. It is MSK versus um, the Young Best in the final of the Dusty Rose Tag Team Classic. It's going to be really fantastic. I, I'm so entertained by both of these teams of film for you, especially MSK, obviously the Young Best. Uh, uh, the young grizzled vets. That's the name, isn't it? The young grizzled vets. Uh, they uh, they won it last year, didn't they? Uh, so uh, yeah, that's that. That is it's, it's gonna be a fantastic match if I'm honest with you. MSK very entertaining. I think they should win this one. That's what I'm predicting. I'm predicting uh MSK to win. They're so entertaining. Uh, so they're they're so entertaining. They're they're definitely a, a big team for the future. Same as the grizzled young vets. But yeah, I'm predicting MSK. I hope they win as well. So yes. Anyway, the next match that I'm officially going to be predicting is um, for the WWE NXT Women's Championship. This is going to be fantastic, in my opinion. It's a triple threat match. Io Shirai is defending her title against Tony Storm and Mercedes Martinez. Bloody hell, I, I feel like this is going to be great, in my opinion. It's going to be bloody great. So, yes, look, oh, oh, overall, I reckon this, this could easily be one of the contenders for match of the night. I'm really looking forward to it. I really bloody am looking forward to it, in my opinion. It 100% won't disappoint. I mean, I, I, I reckon these three, um, uh, uh, these three women are going to have one hell of a bloody battle, if I'm completely honest with you. And I'm really looking forward to it. Obviously, Io Shirai is fantastic. Uh, Tony Storm is brilliant. And Mercedes Martinez is quite good as well. So, yes, but prediction rise. I don't think uh, Mercedes Martinez is going to win this. It's either between Io Shirai or Tony Storm, to be honest for you. Uh, Mercedes Martinez will take the pin, in my opinion, in this match. If I had to predict... 
It's either going to be Shirai or Tony Storm. I'm trying to think about this one. I'm going to say Io Shirai to officially retain. That's what I'm going to say. Because... My own reasoning for that is... She's a fantastic champion. I feel like what they what WWE could do with this is, you know, Io Shirai might still be feuding with Tony Storm. I can't see Mercedes Martinez still st staying to the bloody mix of, uh, of it. Or, or what could possibly happen is Io Shirai could go and feud with uh, Ricardo Gonzalez because it works out from what we saw at WWE and NXT War Games as well after Ricardo uh, Gonzalez eliminating Io Shirai to win. Uh, that would be very interesting. So, yeah. I, I reckon Io Shirai is going to win because I, I, I have a feeling that WWE's got some good plans for her still. And, you know, she's been a fantastic champion in my opinion. So she deserves to win. I reckon Io Shirai will officially retain. I hope she does as well, which will be bloody interesting. I mean, it's going to be fantastic to watch. So, yes. Anyway, uh, I'm now officially going to be predicting the main event of the evening. So... Yes, the main event of WWE NXT TakeOver Vengeance Day. Who's going to win? Finn Balor versus Pete uh, Dunn for uh, the WWE NXT Championship. It's going to be a, it's gonna be a, a war, in my opinion. It's going to be really fantastic, if I'm completely honest for you. I reckon it's going to be better than the Finn Balor versus Kyle O'Reilly fights. 100% surely. These guys have been having a feud for like um, uh, one or two months or something. It's really built up into quite a big thing now. And, you know, we both know that these two guys can put on a good match. 100%. I reckon we're going to see a fantastic match. And I'm predicting it now. It's either going to be the triple threats uh, match or this one, which is going to be match of the night. That's my opinion. But, uh but yeah, um, I'm what I am gonna be doing now is yeah, I'm I'm, I'm gonna predict who I think is gonna win. Two Brits, two people from Britain are fighting. Obviously, Finn Balor is Irish and Pete Dunne is English. Um, yeah, you don't see that much off. You don't see that that often, do you? But yeah, it's gonna be really fantastic. Obviously, Finn Balor, he he was the first ever WWE Universal Champion. Pete Dunne had a lot of success. It had a lot of success in, um. Yeah, wait, what, 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 yeah, yeah, wait, so Finn Balor had a lot of success, like, in WWE Raw, as, uh, as he did become, like, the first WWE Universal Champion, then he had to relinquish it due to injury, but, yeah, Pete Dunn, yeah, he had a lot of success in uh, WWE NXT UK, didn't he, while Finn Balor was doing it all on WWE Raw, yeah, it needs to have had some, like, brilliant success, but if I had to predict someone to win, I'm predicting Finn Balor, come on, Finn, come on, Finn Balor, yeah, oh, oh, it's gonna be, like, fantastic, and, I'm really looking forward to this one because, look, we all know that these guys can put up a, a, a brilliant fight. We've seen this feud, which has been, like, fantastic. It's definitely going to live up to the makings, in my opinion. And it is going to be, like, fantastic. So, yeah, overall, I'm really bloody looking forward to it. So, yeah. Anyway, if you, if you want to see more of this content, drop a like on the video if you haven't already. Anyway, look, I'm going to end this video here. Thanks for watching the video. Chaos, I'll speak to you soon. Anyway, thanks for watching. Peace out.